What is up guys, Sink here and yes one Star Trek Fleet Command and today's video is about gaining faction rep. Because at level 22 you get to pick which faction you're going to be, either the Federation, the Romulan or the Klingons. Now on Facebook Star Trek Fleet Command actually announced that the winning faction at the moment is the Klingons, followed by the Romulans and then the Federation. Now I've always liked being the underdog in the game so I was actually going to pick either the Romulans or the Klingons because I thought a lot of people would pick the Federation. Well as you can clearly see on screen, yeah the Federation isn't doing too well. So it does kind of give me an idea of who I want to go for. But when you reach level 22 is when you actually get to pick your faction that you're going to join. Now for this you actually do need to build up your reputation to actually get ships within that faction. So today's video we're going to look how to actually get reputation. Right so I'm just going to click on my factions tab just to show you guys here. So at the moment my federation uh, is shown as tolerated my uh, reputation level. So I'm on 1596 rep and as you can see I'm not doing too well with the other factions because well hmm, no shit happens. So, to actually build up the reputation, there are a couple of ways of doing it. First up is by completing missions, say this one. Um, as soon as I complete this, I'll get 160 reputation for the Federation and lose quite a fair bit with the Klingons and only a little bit with the Romulans. Now, there are three extra rewards, but I can't see what they are until I've completed this. So, doing missions for the actual faction will help you get more and more rep. Now to do this, what you need to do is just go into one of the areas. So as you explore the different areas, you'll find missions within, say, the faction uh, systems. So for the Federation, I've got a mission there that I need to do, which will give me rep with the Federation. However, if I was to go over to, say, the Romulan Empire, as you can see, there's a mission there. If I complete that, it would give me Romulan rep. However, I would lose rep with the other two factions, the Klingons and the Federation. So it's always best to want, uh, well, just think about who you want to go for. Um, that, the way I was going to work, it was just, just looking at the ships and look how cool the ships were. That's what I was going to do. But then obviously I saw the winning faction and saw that the Federation were the underdog. So I decided to go with the Federation. Now, after you do some missions, you'll find out that some are too hard to complete. So the other way of getting around this is by this. Right, so I'm bringing my North Star over to one of the Klingon areas because I know I can actually attack these with my North Star. Um, bit weird, but my survey ship is my most powerful ship. Now, the way it's worked so far that I can tell is I'm level 19. If I attack and destroy, say, a level 20, if I can spot one quickly, which by the looks of it, I can't. There, a level 20. If I attack this one, now I did say my current federation rep was 1596. So if I attack this guy right now, let's head over. Right, so it's going into attack and we'll just double check. 1596 federation rep. And now we attack it. I should get 5 rep for that. 1601, there we go. So for a level 20, I would get five rep. Right, so I just had to double check there with the level 21s. I thought they gave you 10 rep, they actually give you five. I actually attacked two there. So that's put me up to 1611. Now if I attack a level 22, it should actually give me 10 points. So I'm gonna quickly head to another system and double check that. Right, so we've just arrived in a, another system. We're gonna attack a level 22. Now this should give me 10 rep. So let's have a quick look. We're going to attack this guy. Should say at the top actually. Right, that gave me seven rep, I believe. Let's just double check. Yep, that gave me seven rep for a level 22. So um, one level higher, one and two levels higher is five rep. Uh, three levels higher is seven rep. Now I know um, this this could be quite tedious with with all the repairs and that. But if you're looking to build up your rep, there's there's the two ways of doing it. You've got the missions that you can do, or you can go and attack hostiles of the opposing faction. Now, currently, there is an event going on for the Federation in which you can get a nice amount of rep from them. So all you need to do is attack hostiles of the Federation, say the Romulans and the Klingons, and build yourself up with the points on the ranking board. 
and say I, I'm probably going to aim for getting at least um, in the top 101 to 200 and if I do that it'll give me the following if it'll let me click there we go it give me 250 federation rep now that's not a huge amount but if I was to concentrate on hard on this because it's seven hours to go I could maybe make the top 100 which would give me a thousand federation points and some credits as well which is nice so these are the two ways of building up your faction rep before you reach level 22 or if you want to go for the federation there's another nice little one there now I do believe they're gonna hold a monthly Romulan one as well um, and possibly a Klingon I'm not sure what they're doing with that yet I yet to see any information about that but that's the way I can see about leveling up your faction rep before you actually get to pick a faction and yeah I hope that helped you guys if it did don't forget to leave a, a like if you wanna know anything else leave it in the comment section and I'll be sure to see if I can answer it for you otherwise I should catch you guys next time Toodles!